Good morning guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Miss Henderson. We are doing an interesting skill today for the home health aid students. We are transferring a patient from bed into wheelchair using a gate belt. I'm gonna ask Michaela to do this skill. Michaela is very good. So I'm gonna ask her to transfer her patient from the bed into the wheelchair using a gate belt. Again, if you like these types of content and these types of educational material, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Please give this video a thumbs up for my home health aid students, and please drop your comments below. Go ahead, Michaela. Okay. Ms. Carpio, can I come in? Yes, please. Okay, good morning, Ms. Carfield. It's me, Michaela, your home health aide again. How are you today? I'm okay, thank you. That is always good to hear. Ms. Carfield, I wanted to know if you were in the mood or feeling up to stand up with me. Yes. Um, get a little movement to your wheelchair and then get you out of your little area of your bed and see if we can take a little 10 step walk. Is that okay with you? Okay. Yes? Okay, great. So I'm going to wash my hands, gather my supplies, and I'm going to be right back. Okay. So for this skill, you need a gate belt, a wheelchair, and if you want, no I mean, if you want to use gloves, you can, but I'm always going to, you know, wash my hands. That's very important, but you always want to make sure the patient's shoes are non-skid, or at least her socks are not skid To prevent falls. No shoes with her at the moment for some reasons. Okay, so I'm going to come back now to the patient. My hands are washed. We're going to pretend that I washed my hands for this skill. So I'm back. I'm going to knock. Ms. Carpio, can I come in? Yes, please. Yes? Okay, so I washed my hands. I gathered my supplies, which is the gate belt only, and the wheelchair is ready for us to be accessed. Okay. I'm going to make sure that the bed is in the lowest position that the wheels are locked, and that the wheelchair is locked as well. I'm just going to move it a little bit closer for us. Here, right here. And I want to use gloves for this procedure, um, just for safety purposes, but it's totally up to you as long as you have disinfected your hands. Um, okay, Ms. Carpio, so I'm going to slowly fan fold your sheet. I have my gate belt here. Ready? And I, so I, let's say I placed shoes on her already. So she has non skid shoes. Very good. To prevent any harm done, right? Or falls. To prevent falls. The non skid shoes and socks is to prevent falls. Yes. So, Ms. Carpio, on the count of three, I'm going to gently. Raise you. Get you closer to her. Yes, yes. One, two, three. Two, three, and three seconds. Cross her legs, cross her arms for proper body alignment. Cross her legs, cross her arms. On a count of three, you're going to get her in a sitting position. In a sitting position. Okay. One, two, three. So I'm going to pretend. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Good job. Are you okay? okay. You should good. be asking her, are you feeling dizzy? Okay. Any okay? lightheadedness? Because your blood pressure drops after from a lying to a sitting position. Your blood pressure drops, and that's called autostatic hypertension. So ask your patient if she's dizzy or lightheaded, then you have to lay her back down and check her blood pressure. Got it. Are you feeling dizzy or lightheaded right now? No. So you're, you're okay to walk? Okay. Okay, great. So I'm going to just ask you to sit still and keep your, uh, pick your hands up. Thank you so much. I'm just going to put this belt around your waist yes. to help you okay. stand up. Okay? So make sure that it is not on your belly button when you close the belt, but on towards the side of the person's belly button. So not put any pressure. 
make sure the be the the belt fit the gate belt fits snugly yeah. not too tight not too, tight, not too slack but it has to fit snugly and move it towards a little bit the side yeah tuck it in tuck it in from the belly button mm -hmm. tuck it in push it in here very good the loop and I will tuck it in on the side okay to prevent any Accidents. Make sure it's two finger breadth in between. She could move slow. Yes. Okay. Two finger breadth. So before you before you get her up, you have to remove the um, the wheelchair. Get the um, I'm trying to angle the camera in a certain way so the people can see. Get those. Um, yeah. Remove it. Make sure your your wheelchair is locked. You could swing that wheelchair uh, thing, the rest, the foot rest. Swing it, it's not. Can somebody show Michaela how to remove it? I got it. Okay. Swing it so it's away because sometimes patients that get stuck. Okay. Check it that it's locked before you get your patient up. Oh, she, we lost it, yes. Okay, go ahead, Michaela. Okay, now, Miss Carthio, I'm going to put my knees on your knees. Good. And I'm going to put, ask Hold. you to put your arms on the bed. And I'm going to take your gate belt, put my fingers up on it. Okay. And slowly, on a count of three, I'm going to raise you up. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Okay, any dizziness? How do you feel? Any dizziness? Oh, okay, no. In the you're okay? Okay. Okay, great. So now I'm going to turn and I'm going to walk right beside Miss Scarpio, a little bit behind, yes. not in front of her, mm -hmm. holding one hand in the back yeah. upwards and one hand in the front upwards. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's walk. One, two, two, three. three. Did it turn slowly? Okay. How do you feel? I'm okay. You're Instruct okay? her yes. to hold on to this hold to, on the to the wheelchair. Uh, to the wheelchair's handles. And on the count of three, I'm going to sit you down. Okay. One, two, three. Bend your knees Bend for your a body. Mm-hmm. Good. Perfect. How do you feel? I'm okay. Good. Great. So I'm going to unlock the wheelchair. Put the pedals for for her feet. And I'm going to push her. Remove her gate remove belt. Her gate yes, I'm going to remove her gate belt. Yes, I, oh yeah, I unlocked it now. Remove your gate belt. If you can raise your arms for me upwards. So I can remove your, gate, your belt without harming you. Perfect. I'm going to put down the gate belt, ask you to hold on to the rails. Are you okay, Miss Scorpio? Give her her call bell, take her out to her living room and give her her call bells and her personal belongings. You have your bag, right? Your little mirror. Okay, perfect. And now we're going for a little walk. All right, guys, so this is it for this video. Um, gi please give this video a thumbs up for Michaela the home health aid students. I think she did an excellent job on this skill. This skill is transferring a patient from the bed into a wheelchair using a gate belt. A gate belt is a belt that is placed over the patient's clothes and it's for patients that have um, poor, uh, poor balance. Their equilibrium, their balance is unsteady, so you could use a gate belt to help you with the transfer process. Again, if you like these types of content and these types of educational material, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Please give this video a thumbs up, and please drop your comments below. Bye for now. Catch you in the other video. Have a blessed day.